Okay, we have another interesting integral here from the UNSW integration B2024, round two, problem two. We have the integral from zero to 2024 of the sum from k equals the ceiling of x to 2024 of k plus one over 2024 times k dx. Okay, to get started with this, before I do anything, I just want to notice 2024 is a constant value. It's got no dependency on k, so we can actually just take this right outside the sum. But again, because it's a constant value, we can take it all the way outside of the integral. So we can actually just have this all the way out here in front. And then from here, what I want to do is I just want to deal with this ceiling function because it's really hard to know what, because it's really hard to do anything until we take care of this. And the way we can handle this, similar to how we handle the floor, is by breaking up our bounds. If we break the bounds up on integers, then this is going to simplify to an integer value. So let's just see how this is going to work. We'll take this 1 over 2024. We'll have this, we'll have this all the way in front. And then when we break this up, our first integral, we're just going from 0 to 1. But now for this k value, we can actually simplify this because all of our x values are going between 0 and 1. The ceiling function is going to round us up. So for this x value with these bounds, this value is always going to be 1. And we're just still going from 2000, we're still going to 2024 here. And then for the next one, it's going to be really similar. Now we're going from 1 to 2. And then this here, now for our k value, the ceiling function is going to round us up to this upper bound. So this value is going to be 2 here. So we're going from 2 to 2024. And this is about enough writing, but let's do this. Let's, um, let's just do the very last one. So for this last integral here, we're going to have our upper bound. This is going to be going to, two, our, our upper bound is going to be 2024. So this is going to be one less, or 2023. Now here for this k value, all of our x values are between 2023 and 2024. The ceiling is going to round us up. So this is at, this is just going to be a 2024. Now from here, what I want to do is I just want to get a sense of this sum. Let's just like, just start with, let's just start with this one right here. So when we look at this, our k values are going from 1 to 2024. So let's just write out some terms and see what's happening. So like when we have our k value equal to 1, this is going to be 2 over 1. Then for our next term, we plug a 2 in, we have 3 over 2, and it's just going to keep going like this. And this is going to go all the way to our last term when k is 2024. This is going to be 2025 over 2024. Now, at first, this was kind of hard to think about because we have this sum, but then we have something similar going on here, and then the next one, and the next one, and we have 2024 of these, so it's actually a lot to look at. But the nice thing about this is each sum is so similar. Like, like for this one, it's really just the same thing, but we're just starting for the second term. Like the first one, of the, the first term here when k is 2, for this sum here, it's going to be 3 halves, and then when k is 3, it's 4 thirds. So this is all going to be identical, just starting at a different point. And if we just looked at the next integral where the integral is going from 2 to 3 and the k value and the k value starting at 3, well, then this is going to become 4 over 3. So our first term for that one is going to be just 4 over 3 plus 5 fourths plus all this stuff. So what this whole problem actually comes down to is just finding a way to add up all these sums and then just multiplying it by 1 over 2024. Okay, so I've written out a few different lines of this just to get a sense of it. Now, we just need some simplification on this so we're not adding up like a million numbers. But the nice thing is we can just kind of start dealing with some of these values over here to the left. Like this 2 over 1 value, notice there's nothing below it. There's only one copy of this. So I can just write it like we're multiplying by 1 in front of this, right? Because we just have one of these. But then for this next term, 3 halves, it's only going to occur twice. At the third integral, it's, there's nothing here. This is gone. So we actually know we can get rid of this and just consider this 2 copies of 3 halves. And then doing the same thing over here, we've got 3 copies of 4 thirds, right? So we can have a 3 in front there. And then we have four copies here of five fourths, so these can go away and we can put a four here. And I've erased it from our board, but our last integral was going from 2023 to 2024. And for that one, the value here for our k value became 2025. To, it became this 2025 to 2024. So this last value is actually included in every single integral. So we have 2024 copies of this one. But then you'll notice what happens here. Of course, I can cancel one with one. That doesn't really matter, but I can cancel two with two. 3 with 3, 4 with 4, 20 to 24, and 2024. 20 and so all we need to do now is sum up the natural numbers from 2 to 2025. Okay, so what I want to do to add up all these numbers right here is I'm just going to use the arithmetic series formula that we have over here to the right. Just notice the difference between each term is just the same value. It's just going to be 1 in each case. That's going to allow us to use this over here. So let's bring down our 2024 over here. So using this, we need our a1 value. That's just going to be the first term. That's just going to be 2. And then we need our a n value, our last value. That's just going to be this, 2025. And this is all going to be over 2. 
and our n value is just going to be the number of terms. That's going to be 2025 minus 1. We don't have the 1 there, so this is actually going to be 2024 over here. But then I can just cancel 2024 with 2024 here. Adding up our numerator, we get our final solution of just 2027 over 2. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from UNSW 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.